All right. In this video, I will show a solution to the problem, to this problem. Uh, imagine we have a unit square, like this one in this picture, or like this one in this picture. Uh, for this unit square, we introduce a semi-ring, or we will show it, it will be a semi-ring, but that's, that's what I will introduce as my semi-ring. That's the collection of all sets, uh, which I will denote TAB. In each individual TAB is the upright strip like this, so your x coordinate restricted between a and b, and y is freely chosen between 0 and 1. So, for instance, here on this diagram, TAB, typical TABs are something like this. Uh, this is a semi ring. We have to show, in fact, that this is a semi ring. Uh, and for each TAB, I will introduce a measure which will be this measure. It's a uh, length of the base of this rectangle, upright rectangle. We have to show that this is a sigma additive measure. That's another, another part of the problem I will show. And now we will also need to show that if I have a set like this, that's the horizontal line of, uh, at the level one half, so it's this line. We have to show that this line will not be Lebesgue measurable with respect to the sigma algebra uh, which is which appears if you take the couple S M and you do the standard Lebesgue extension of measure for this couple. So if you do this extension there will be a sigma algebra of Lebesgue measurable subsets with respect to this couple, the semi-ring and the sigma additive measure. And the problem is, uh, the problem asks to show that this set A is not measurable with respect to this sigma algebra. Uh, what we will do actually, we will prove this measure in a very general context of what I call the theorem, <coughs> what I call transfer of measure theorem. And I'll give you the statement of this theorem right now. So we look at the function or a mapping between two universal sets x and y of arbitrary nature. And now we assume that this receiving universal set, set y, has a sigma, has a sorry, has a semi-ring and a sigma additive measure on it. And I will call this C semi-ring L and measure G. Now imagine we did the extension, the back extension for this triple of objects. So we constructed the, the triple of the back measurable sigma algebra and uh, external measure on it. So this is the big extension. The question is how to take this structure which you see which exists here on this receiving set and transfer this here on this domain set with the help of the function f. Now this process of transferring measure structure from here onto here is a relatively standard process and that's the purpose of this video to explain this process to you and as a byproduct of this explanation we will see in fact that this A is not measurable. Um, look at this. The transfer is done like this. On this set X we introduce a family of subsets which will be a semi-ring very soon which is the collection of all what is called pre-images of the elements of the semi-ring here. Actually this is a typo. is meant to be semi-ring L. So S is a collection of all pre-images and the pre-image, look at this, that's a pre-images, pre-image is a collection of all X in your universal set such that F of X belongs to B. That's a definition of the pre-image. So S is a collection of all pre-images of elements of your semi-ring L and we introduce a measure on this S by doing it like this, uh, the measure of the every pre-image in this yes, will be just the measure of B in my set Y. This example gives a very nice demonstration of this general concept of transfer of measure. Because all you have to do, you have to take the mapping between the unit square and unit length, which is just projection. So the one which projects every point here down to First coordinate. Under such mapping, if you take the semi ring of half open intervals within the interval 0, 1, and if you take the canonical Lebesgue measure for G, sorry, canonical length measure for G, 
then by doing this pre-image construction, you will end up with these two objects. So rather than showing that this object is a semi and this measure is sigma additive, and rather than showing that this A is non measurable with respect to the Lebesgue construction attached to this couple of objects, I'll do it in a very general context. So we just now will be looking at this function, general function between two universal sets. Uh, we assume that we have a semi ring and a sigma additive measure. We assume that we have a Lebesgue extension for this one. We assume now that we constructed this new object and this new object. Now the theorem claims that this will be semi ring. The theorem claims that this will be in the very generality. It will be sigma additive measure on this semi ring. Further on, we'll take it further and we will claim actually the theorem will claim that if you want to compute the external measure associated with this object, this will be the same as if you compute the external measure of the image of the set A, and that's true for every subset of X. Image, that's the definition of the image, so it's the that's the definition of the image. So as you run your x across a and you collect all of the results in your y. And uh, if you now do the, the big extension with respect to this couple of objects, then we also have a criterion for measurability. A set a, a set a in x will be measurable if and only if, listen to this, if and only if the image of the set, the image like this, is measurable in the receiving universal set, but it's not enough. Also, the, the following condition must be satisfied. The external measure of the set like this must be zero. As the set of those points in the image whose pre-image is not entirely in the original set A. So it's the sub subset of the set A which is not a full pre-image. In fact, I'll demonstrate this concept here. Look at this. If I have a set like this, if this is my set A, if this is my set A, this polygon my set A, the image of this set will be this interval. That's the image. Now, in this image, there are points whose pre-images are entirely within this polygon, and there are points whose pre-images are not entirely within the polygon. So, first condition just says that the image should be measurable, as the image. but the second condition is more subtle. It says that if I take the pre-image of these points in the image, you know, in our case it will be this rectangle, this set refers to that part of the image whose pre-image is not entirely covered by the polygon. So, in, uh, in this example, this set refers to this part of my Rectangle. So actually, I, I will put here dash line to show you this splitting. Here it is. Everything to the left of the dash line is the points, or in fact, these are the points. The points on my thick red interval to the left of the dash line, that's the points which are described by this set, and they must be of zero measure. That will be the equivalent condition for measurability of the set in the original sigma algebra f. If you use this criterion for this for this particular set, the answer will be immediate and it will be no, because the image of the set A will be the complete interval 0, 1 here. The collection of those points whose pre-image is not entirely within the original set A will be again the entire interval 0, 1. So this will be met by this set. But the second requirement will not be met by the set A. That's the reason why the set A is not measurable with respect to the sigma algebra, the back sigma algebra associated with the couple SM like this.